Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to display text on our canvas or board. Um, so I have this variable in here called message. It's a string and I'll show you in our paint method. Um, I have a create a font variable um, called small because I'm going to that's 14 point font on the small side so I just decided to call small and you use this uh, font metrics to get the um, font object started and set a color for our font which actually should do something different than white since uh, our background is white so that would not show up And we're going to say um, uh, that would, basically this draw string is the method we use to display our text. And so you, it takes um, three variables, the actual string that you want to display. This could be a string literal, like I could have put in quotes here, but I'm going to use my string variable. And an X position, which is I'm going to use a 10. That's going to be near the bottom of the screen. So I did the screen height minus 60. Um, and so if I... I wanted to, where I have this in-game variable, which I'll put to use real quick. I'll, uh, I'm going to grab this part right here, and then I'll put else. And so the in-game variable is false to start, should be false to start out with. And I'm going to click the board to, so I'll say, in game, so when you click the mouse, we'll say in game equals true, and this you know could be a uh, start of a game for you. You know you, you don't want the game to start up as soon as you um, uh, run your program. You want to give the user an ability to um, have control over that, and so we will uh, change the message then when game is active, I'll say active game, okay, and so let's go ahead and run that, and so it says click to start, and now it's an active game, there you go, pretty simple, and you could use uh, most font types in here, and I can, I'll just show you how I can make this larger font if I wanted to. Oh, so one little line that I forgot that's very, very important is you need to actually have this set font method. Otherwise, um, that's why my size didn't change when I changed that variable. Um, otherwise, um, it doesn't actually set the font. So this was useless until you have this line right here. Okay, so now we should see a larger type font on the screen when I run this. Yeah, there we go. Much better. All right. So there you go. That's how you do text. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, please subscribe.